Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about stomach cramps in infants. Now, when we talk about stomach cramps in infants, usually we're talking about colic. What is colic? Well, colic tends to present at about 42 weeks gestational age. What do I mean by that? Well, say your baby was born right on his or her due date. That should be 40 weeks after the last menstrual period. So about two weeks after birth, your baby may start to cry, draw his or her legs up to his abdomen, seem to have some cramping, tighten the belly, the belly may get really hard, and the baby seems to be really miserable. Now, Interestingly, with that kind of cramping, it doesn't tend to occur in the first couple of weeks of life. In fact, if you have your baby prematurely, maybe they're born one month premature, 36 weeks, they're probably not going to begin having colicky uh, behavior until six weeks after they were born. In fact, if the behavior is occurring before that, it may be unusual and suggest some other more serious disease that needs to be investigated. Now, colic tends to begin at that age. It peaks at around six weeks of life, and it usually goes away by three months of life. So what we're talking about now, if it's going on longer than the third month of life, that's also unusual and deserves looking at. Now, do we know what causes colic? Honestly, no, we don't. We don't even know that it's really abdominal pain. I mean, it looks like abdominal pain, but who can say? The infants can't tell us. The things that we normally do to treat problems like gastroesophageal reflux disease or milk protein allergy don't tend to help colic very often. The rates are about 2 to 5 percent. So a lot of people will jump in and change formula. Oh, this caught formula must be causing the colic. We'll go to this one. Or maybe in a breastfeeding mother, they'll test the mother to change her diet. You know, don't drink milk, stay away from soy, stay away from peanuts or wheat. That may help, but it doesn't help very often. Usually we try a bunch of stuff and the child ages out of it. What might help? Well, if you've seen a book by Dr. Harvey Karp called The Happiest Baby on the Block, Dr. Karp will suggest that there are five S's that you can try to keep your baby happy during these colicky spells. You can try swaddling the baby with the arms tightly against the side. You can try putting him or her on their side, on your lap. You can try giving him something to suck on, a pacifier or a finger. You can try shaking very gently, just a little light jiggle, not a violent shaking. That's shaken baby syndrome. That's deadly. Uh, you can try lying them on their side or on their tummy. Never while they're asleep, putting an infant to sleep on his or her belly may cause sudden infant death syndrome. Uh, but while they're awake, it may help. And also shushing loudly in the baby's ear. These things seem to calm down a lot of babies and may buy you and the baby a little bit of peace for at least a little while. Now sometimes nothing works. Driving around the block, the pacifier, the singing, the dancing. At those points, try and take care of yourself. You can put the baby in the bassinet or the crib or the car seat for a minute and walk away and pour a cup of tea or take a hot shower or do something that keeps you sane while your baby is crying his or her head off. Now, let's talk about things that would be alarming. If your baby seems to have stomach cramps and is over three months of life, if your baby has a fever, especially a fever greater than 104 to 105 degrees or a fever that doesn't seem to have an explanation, or if your baby has any fever under three months of age, those things are all emergent and should be seen immediately by a doctor. If your baby is feeding poorly or failing to gain weight well, that is really significant. If there's blood in the stool, that's a bad thing. Your baby's going to need to be seen. So be on the lookout for things that may be serious signs of disease and need to be evaluated. Talking about abdominal cramping in your infant, I'm Dr. David Hill.